What's up, vape fam? Sortil here, and welcome to the Vaporworks Lab. I'm still vaping on the Fatality M25 Remastered. I love this RTA. I love the original, so the Remastered is really a no-brainer. But it does seem like it's kind of become RTA month at the Vaporworks Lab. We did the build stream with the Profile M, and I tried the diesel, but... It was kind of all jacked up. I did get it built after the stream, and what was going on there was there's little peak sleeve inserts for two of the grub screws, and that little peak is about paper thin, and it was getting mangled and twisted up with the grub screw, so the grub screw would get caught with it and wouldn't clamp all the way down on that coil leg. So I did replace that extremely carefully, screwed a new grub screw down in there extremely carefully, Finally got it all built up, and it was really not worth all that headache. The flavor off of it was not really that great. It was okay, but it wasn't great. And the overall performance off of it was just not something I would vape on a regular basis. So definitely not worth the headache. But I have an RTA today that I think will be worth pretty much any headache it could give us, although I don't really think it's going to give us much headache. And that is the Nitrous RTA from Dam Vape and Coco Sarong. Now, I've been anxiously awaiting this RTA ever since I started teasing it on Instagram. I think there was an Indonesian release prior to the global release, but as soon as it hit their site uh, for global release, I jumped all over it. So let's dive down. We'll take a look at it, stick a coil in it, wick it, juice it, come back up, vape on it, and I'll tell you guys what I think about the Nitrous RTA. So let's jump on over. All right. This is the package that your nitrous RTA comes in. The glass holds 2.5 milliliters of liquid, but they do sell a bubble glass and an extension uh, for this so you can get more juice into this RTA. All right, so here's your RTA. You get a replacement glass section, a 24 millimeter beauty ring, 510 adapter, and an extra drip tip. Take our RTA out of here, see what else we get in this package. We get a bag of O-rings, grub screws, extra coils, get your manual, and you get their little weird coil cutting guide. Now they recommend five millimeter leg leads and that seems to be what works best from what I've tried. You also get your three prong tool here and they made it in red instead of the usual orange. All right, so here is the RTA. Now this is a extremely small RTA, being 22 millimeter, you know, it's about the size of the Eclipse. Sorry for some of this, I have used this and built on it before, so I didn't clean it up quite well enough, it looks like. But it's a quarter turn quick release. It has big giant kidney holes for a 22 millimeter. This drip tip that comes on it, this is the one that comes with it. I'm not a huge fan of it, so we're actually going to replace it. Then if you unscrew the whole base down here, it will unscrew away from the chimney. That's how you can get to your glass. Also add the extension tube if you get the extension glass. Screw that back on there. Then to get to your deck, you unscrew this base down here, this knurled base part. Unscrew it and then just pull away. And there is our deck. It will facilitate anti clockwise or clockwise wrap coils. They are flathead screws. And you may be wondering about these little raised platforms over here. These are actually to kind of hold your wicks up a little bit. So it looks like it just has wicking channels right there. And you can see these two openings on each side. And you might think, oh, well, that's to tuck my wicks down in, and then that's where I should see my wicks, and the liquid will hit it. But you don't really want it to do that. You actually want your wicks to stay a little puffed up and not all the way down here to these openings. Because essentially what's going on is in here, you have your reduced chamber, similar to the nitrous with the airflow right up on the coil. But these two holes are a gravity feeding system for the liquid. So it will drip right down on your cotton, but 
if it oversaturates, you have these two ramps and the liquid will drain down, come around and go back into here, back where your wicks are. And a big thing for this is when you're refilling it. So whenever you go to refill it, if you just tuck your wicks all the way down in here, it will work fine until you go to refill it. And then you'll have all kinds of liquid pour out of your airflow. So you want to make sure the wicks are kind of puffed up. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead and stick this on a mod. I'm going to stick it on the Centaurus Quest. All right. Already got two of those grub screws backed out. We're going to use some Coilology Alien V2s. These come out to 0.21. These are three millimeter. I have tried 2.5 millimeter ID coils in this and they do work pretty damn well. All right, we're going to cut our leg leads at five. Should be good. All right. And now with whichever way your coil is wound, they should lay in there just about perfect. And you really shouldn't have to adjust your coil too terribly much once you get it all clamped down. It looks like we will just a hair. All right, that looks pretty good. All right. Now this is, like I said, this is an alien coming out to 0.21. So at the moment it's 0.16. Crank our wattage down some. All right, looks pretty good. Now let's wick this bad boy up. I'm going to use some of my Amazon $5 cotton because I am running low on my Cloud9. Definitely need to get a hold of some more. Now, like I said, the wicking is probably the only tricky part to this, but it's not even really tricky. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It actually kind of designed to be lazy in, in your whole wick process, so don't even worry about it. All right. And you probably want to cut it actually a little bit longer than that. Probably about like that. Then we'll thin these out just a hair. Now, essentially what you're wanting to do, you just want them kind of pooped up.
yeah, about like that. So then at the base there, you don't really have a whole lot of wicking showing through. You do have some, but it's really meant to kind of pull the liquid up underneath of your wicking, not directly onto it. So similar to the M, it's almost an RDTA style of wicking method right here. All right, we're going to use my vanilla overdose custard. And looks like came out to 0.2. All right, I think that should be good. Go ahead and stick our top cap back on here. So I want to make sure that coil lines up good. I'll take it off the mod. Put our base back on here. Oops, looks like I dripped some down the mod. Take it back on our mod. All right, now let's jump up top, put some juice in this and see how it vapes. All right, let me wipe some of this liquid where I over dripped on my cotton some. Do our quarter turn. And actually let me adjust my airflow some. Blech. All right, not getting any leaking out of the airflow, which is good. That's how you're really going to know with this if your wicking is the way it should be. Whenever you fill it, if your wicking is off, it's going to leak out of the airflow holes. That's just what's going to happen there. So just make sure whenever you're wicking it, you know, you're your cotton is kind of puffed up and you really just barely laid the ends of your wicks into those wick bows. You don't really want to tuck them down in there to where, you know, you can see them through those four little openings. Those are just for juice to flow freely into build up in that wick well there, and then finally hit your wick to kind of re resaturate your cotton because it's going to feed down from the top to hit on top of your wicks but there's going to be excess and that excess kind of goes down those ramps underneath your coil feeds back around into those four openings. And it's just a big giant cycle. It's really an ingenious thinking to doing wicking. It just takes a little bit of extra practice in getting the wicking just right. All right, let's see how this thing vapes. I got it wide open. Let's crank the wattage up, say 50 Watts. Then like a good number. All right, let's give this thing a go. Airflow wide open. Flavor is fantastic off this thing. Uh, almost better than the Fatality M25. I want to crank the wattage up a little bit more. Let's put it up to 55. And then I'm going to turn my airflow down. Got it. All five holes on the bottom open. The first three holes on the top row are open. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, this is just a flavor banger to the umpteenth degree. I'm going to swap this drip tip out. I really don't like that stacked kind of drip tip that comes with it. It just feels weird overall. They do provide a secondary one, but I'm going to use one of my own here. All right, let's cut the top airflow down one more hole. So I got two holes open on top, the whole bottom row wide open. This is how I like the nitrous RDA. So let's see how the RTA does with this type of airflow. just like the nitrous RDA. The airflow is identical. Flavor is almost as spectacular, which I'm pretty shocked about. 
Seems like it's wicking really well. I'm getting plenty of bubbles, so I'm not worried about my wicking. We will see when I go to refill it uh, if the wicking stays the way it should be. But honestly, as long as it's puffed up like that and you don't have your wicks all the way down in the base of those wick wells, you're good to go. Vapor production off this little guy just for being a single coil is just outstanding. I'm really shocked by how much vapor this thing produces. And like I've already said, the flavor is just top tier. This is some of the best flavor from an RTA I have ever gotten. Let's try just the bottom row open. Let's give this a go. That's a little too restrictive for my taste, so I'm going to go back to just two holes open on the top and the full bottom row wide open. Yeah, that's where it's best. Still seems to be wicking really well. Getting plenty of bubbles. This thing is just a flavor banger of an RTA. I really enjoy this thing. I'm actually going to take it off here and we'll put this 24 millimeter beauty ring on and see how it looks. Oh, yeah. That looks spectacular. Yeah, still going strong. So overall, what do I think about this RTA? Are there any cons to it? That wicking method, I guess, is a little con-ish. When I first saw it, I was really hoping it would be like the Eclipse and you just wicked it exactly like you would an RDA. First time I did that, everything seemed fine until I went to fill it up with juice and it just poured out of my airflow. So then I had to kind of go back and look at it went and looked at some indonesian building wicks of this thing and you could see they were puffing that cotton up then i also saw that wendy vapes had done a review for this i checked her review out she was wicking it almost identical to that so i went ahead and gave that a try and that is really how you're supposed to wick this so just make sure it's fluffy and puffed up there on the sides that's kind of why it has those raised platforms and then make sure you know you don't really want your wicks all the way down in those wick wells once you get it there it will wick just perfectly and you don't have to worry about it leaking every time you go to fill it up with juice it is well worth kind of learning that kind of odd wicking technique and it's really easy once you get it down overall this thing really doesn't have any other cons other than that and that's not really a con that's just a learning curve more than anything so with that aside i love everything else about it the airflow is just phenomenal on this there's plenty of options for airflow i love that they sell a bubble glass or an extension glass section to this and i think that's very cool i kind of wish it had come with maybe the bubble glass at least but it just comes with a replacement glass uh the kidney holes for filling are huge and way bigger than i assume they would be for a 22 millimeter uh, it's super super easy to build on yeah overall i just love this thing which is weird because it's an rta but being the nitrous and from coco sarong i was pretty sure i would like this because i love the nitrous rda Man, that flavor is good. I can't believe I just said that about an RTA. All right, guys, that's it. Definitely check out the Nitrous RTA from Dam Vape and Coco Sarong. This is just an amazing RTA. It is a flavor banger. Probably has some of the best flavor I've ever experienced from an RTA. It's super easy to build on. Airflow is fantastic. Just everything about this thing is fantastic. If you like RTAs, definitely go check this out right now. All right, guys, vape on, and I will catch you all in the next one.